Um, I live uh, not very far from Google headquarters and I see their cars going around my neighborhood all the time. And I was thinking that if uh, Google can drive, or Waymo I, I suppose, can make these cars drive themselves, why are we in uh, networking not doing the same? Why aren't we building networks that completely run themselves? So the idea of a self-driving network is that everything in the network is run by the network as opposed to by humans. And I mean, the, the project I think will be quite a long project. From the start of the self-driving car, which was the DARPA project in 2004, it's now 2019, 15 years. We've made great progress, we're not there yet. And I, I don't think it'll take 15 years, but I think uh, we are making progress. And the question is, you know, what's the next step and the next step so that eventually we get there. Well, there is this discussion of the use of uh, AI and machine learning in networks. There, there was some tangential discussion on telemetry in networks, and I think all of those are really important. I think uh, I would rather do things with a purpose, so have a use case that's behind it, rather than technology for technology's sake. But I think uh, those are the technologies, uh, really good telemetry about the network, uh, really deep understanding about what's going on, and then the ability to feed that into an engine that will produce the right, uh, say, decisions and the kind of changes you have to make in the network so that uh, the network runs as desired. So um, AI, machine learning, that could be interesting. Uh, right now, uh, we are using a, more of a rules-based system but eventually we will bring in machine learning and better telemetry is important. So if you think about how this all works, uh, ultimately anything that is self-driving, whether it's a self-walking uh, robot or a self-driving car or a self-driving network, works in a closed loop. You get information from the network or from the surroundings, uh, you process that information, and then you take actions uh, in, in this case, in the network. So we want a standardized way of getting uh, information from the network. What is going on? Uh, you know, who's talking to whom? Um, what kind of interactions are um, happening in the network? And then you need to process that, and then you need to come back and say, you need to make this change because we're wanting this kind of results in the network. So both getting telemetry, and by telemetry I mean everything, you know, statistics, syslogs, traps, whatever happens in the network, that should be standardized. Making changes in the network has to be standardized. And then there's another part that I didn't, <coughs> excuse me, there's another part that I didn't touch on, which is how do you tell the network what is desired? Um, today they call this intent-based networking. So how do you specify your intent? That needs to be standardized as well. So now the actual engine itself may vary and different vendors might implement them differently, but getting information from the network, um, being able to say this is what is desired, so this is the kind of changes I need to make, and then making those changes in the network. Those two parts have to be standardized. Intent ideally should be standardized, and then the engine can be proprietary or implemented in a variety of ways.